You got it on your mind. Bo I can get it off your chest. You you got it on One. What it is, y'all? We back with another episode of the Get It Off Your Chest podcast. I'm your host, Terry. I got the fellas with me in the building, man. Introduce yourself, man. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, CJ. Get Off Your Chest podcast. Let's get it. What's up? It's your boy, King Rhino. Another episode. We going to get this shit. Let's go. Y'all know how this go, man. We get shit off our chest, whether it's been a day, a week, a month, a year. However the fuck we feel like getting off our chest, we're going to get off our chest because we really don't give a fuck. And that is the name of the show. That's what we do, man. Y'all stuck around this long, man. This is episode 48, man. We done came a long way, but we're going to continue to start it off how we started off. It's Wednesday. How my fellas doing, man? How y'all doing today? It's been a long day, man. Like you said, it's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long, long frustrating ass day, man. But you know, we're gonna get through the shit, man. I'm mm-hmm. here for a day to be alive. Let's get it. God damn right it is. <laughs> uh my day was cool. I just went to work and stuff. The normal normal routine is the normal routine and um moving on. <laughs> Hey, I ain't trying to spread the negativity. Nah, man, it ain't about negativity. Man. I mean, no, I know. I ain't trying to trying to bring up the vibe. That's all. I mean, see, you did a dope little blog, nigga. That's not negative. That's not negative. You know, tell the people about your yeah. blog that you did to the vlog, and tell them niggas follow you on Instagram, bro. You got to throw that out there. You got some positive hey. positivity going on. My Instagram is private for a reason. You can follow if you want to. But yeah. No, tell them to follow your shit, man. Tell them follow, follow you, man. Them. Tell them to follow you, man. Follow, follow Sweet Soul, brother. There you go. That's my personal. Go ahead and follow that shit. Lady, send us some, send us some news. <laughs> <laughs> news only, please. <laughs> some tit Ladies. pics. Ladies, send some news. Tit pics. Really what you going to do right now? You going to blush? Oh, what okay, if somebody I going to blush. Hey, say news. I don't give a fuck. Shit. Ah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, nigga. My nigga. <laughs> nah, man, but y'all know how this is, man. We got to first shout out our sponsor and also the creator, the creator of the Black Gent that was on the show, episode 47, came and dropped some gems. Man, hey, man, look, stop right now if you're watching this video and go watch episode 47. I, go watch episode 47. Like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel. And make sure y'all hit that notification bell so you're alerted every time we pop a video up on y'all, man. But episode 47 was by far, pretty much shows our progress, how far we've come. And also we had Junior The Truth on there, man, giving us some gems and really spitting game to y'all, man. So definitely go check out episode 47. That is the only episode right now I recommend that you watch first before you go through one through 46. <laughs> but yeah, man, blackgym.com, man, make sure y'all check them out. It is No Shave November. They got discounts going on. Hit that slash off your chest, but an extra 10% off. They got everything you need for self-grooming. If you're a, if you're a king, a black king, or if you're a black queen, make sure y'all go check them out, man. That's the blackgent.com. And Junior gave a dope-ass breakdown on what the black gent meant to him and what it stands for and why he has that product, bro. And it really gave me a better understanding of the product. And I, I believe everybody needs to go definitely check that out mm-hmm. and go buy some merch, man. Go buy some fucking merch, God damn it. Man. But yeah, we in this motherfucker, man. We in this. We almost to episode 50, y'all. We coming up on episode 50, man. How y'all feel? We don't, we don't been a, it's, it's been a long time ride man it's been a long ride for us how y'all feel though? i want to know y'all y'all opinion it's crazy that you you know we is almost at episode 50 but you know what i'm saying because it's like you look back at it like damn it's like it's just like we started this shit like yesterday, yesterday. yeah and yeah man. look at it now we like damn episode almost episode 50 man but it's been a fucking damn great journey bro we didn't learn a lot yep from from, from start so what we is now, y'all gotta realize it was three episodes prior to number one that we didn't even put out because we man, it sounds like <laughs> we was trash. <laughs> the energy was off, we was all fucking nervous. We just was like, ah, we we don't even know what the fuck we was even talking about. We was just just talking. It was just like it wasn't, I didn't feel it was authentic, you know. Yeah, what I'm saying? I, I ain't like, either. 
Mm-hmm. We were trying to force the issue. So I'm glad we didn't put them out. But we learned from that. Mm-hmm. We, I feel like we got better every single episode. Every yeah. single episode. I mean, there are people that has checked out episode one. Mm-hmm. All the way from, like, there, shout out to y'all, the ones that have been staying with us since episode, episode one. one. Like, ain't missed the episode. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all. Y'all, y'all the real motherfucking MVPs for real, for yeah. real. I had I had one of my brothers tell me, "Oh yeah, man, I watched all your episodes." I said, "Yeah, well, I still." <laughs> But thank you. Right. <laughs> I don't think I can sit through them all right now. But hey, I got I got my hey. favorites. <laughs> and keep up, you know what I'm saying? Talk to us. That's what's up. That shit really made me happy, man. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, man. Somebody in your family, you know. Well, we're gonna get into that. Get into that support shit. Support with your family and shit. We're we gonna definitely get into that. But yeah, man, this I love this journey, man. You know what I'm saying? And. I'm a, I'm excited for episode. I mean, episode season two too. So y'all better be. Hell you know, yeah. So we're gonna push them love. We're gonna hit your fucking harder, man. You know what I'm saying? Probably try to get more podcasts and cases. Hot brand new, hot. Out here, man. It's yeah, just, it's hot come back together, man. We really do need to come together. There's enough money for all of us. We all can put each other on. My yep. people ain't seen your shit. Your people ain't seen us shit. Why not collide? You know what I'm saying? Stop being selfish. You know. But, yeah. That's what's up, man. Right now, how you feel this journey been, man? We we man, 48 episodes gotta, into this shit. All I gotta say is it's personal growth and this growth, personal growth for all of us. And like we on episode 47, it's just it's it's crazy because it feels really does feel like we just started. We're just started on this shit. We're just cracking the surface. And yeah. I feel I feel like I actually doing something that I'm proud of. I'm actually proud to be here with you guys. I'm proud to do this to do this podcast with you guys. And I learned a I learned a lot from you guys and a lot a lot from doing it. Just how I approach things, how I approach this is my personality. Just bringing myself into I mean, bringing my personality out and coming out my show in real mm-hmm. life and my personal life. And I take like I take uh, I take our criticism, um, I take our criticism like really to the heart all the time. Sometimes because I know y'all care. I hate to, I'm sorry I'm making it about myself, but nah, man, I, hey, I, talk your shit, man. I, first off, uh, I'm going off topic, but first off, I want to shout out to a new podcast that some one of my friends hit me up because he saw us doing this and he had a, he asked some questions about how we do our podcast so shout out to to originally awkward podcast my boy malcolm lashra um can't wait to see what you guys do on your little journey it's in it's only the beginning it's a fun thing to do i love it i love doing it and tell shout out to them. Don't get out of them. Yeah, yeah them tell them come be a guest, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, always. You guys are always welcome here. We can get them the, the the experience firsthand on what we went through. You know what I'm saying? And and yeah. get them some ideas on how to kind of maneuver around the the what would you say the uh being timid? <laughs> yeah, <man>. being timid <laughs> in doing this well, shit. Uh, right? One more thing I want to say is like I always felt like you guys were carrying me through these episodes in the, in the beginning of the episodes and I'm actually starting to bring more to the table yeah. when trying to talk to you just trying to talk talk in general I'm just learning and see, thank thank y'all for being patient man straight I up no I see see and you got to realize it it's just me and this dude grew together dog so yeah that's mm-hmm. that's the thing like when we get to get the flow and the flow you know what I'm saying it's just like that's just like you gotta realize that's that's years and years and years of, of us talking and it's just like it could be sometimes it may be like damn they'd be like damn this nigga right away saying shit right right away but yeah but this is like <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's how, that's how that shit be with Salute. you know and we i used to see how nervous your ass was so i was like ah right, i'm gonna we're gonna try to just ease a minute of this slowly and man through time bro you didn't progress then and now you just like, nigga, fuck y'all. Let me get my word in. Nigga. Right. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you got to be like that, too, man. You got to be like that, man. But it, it taught me a lot about all of y'all, like, doing the podcast, man, starting everything up from then to where we are now. It just taught me a little bit about everybody's character that I didn't know. Like, 
like right on me and you been friends on on xbox live nigga, for well almost over 12 years and it's like talking to you then to talking to you now learning like really how you are and seeing you mold into a, a completely different person because Eric, for y'all who haven't watched any of the other episodes rhino used to be over 600 pounds and his confidence level from starting this show to now like bro like i'm proud of you man like, I feel like CJ is too. Like, we proud of you, bro, for what you done came through and what you accomplished and the little shit. You making me step my game up just like this nigga making me step my game. Like, we all mold and build each other. Like, you doing the vlog yeah. thing today, like, really made me think, like, man, I need to start. You know what I'm I need to start doing, doing the vlogs. Like, when we was talking about with Junior and you took the step to actually do this shit. Yeah. And it's like, bro, we it's, it's crazy, man. It's been a long, it's been a long. Y'all don't understand. One oh, through 48. A lot of people don't make it past what you say, cuz a lot of people make it past what 20? You mean that? <laughs> 20, bro, because they don't seek instant results and they just give up. But you gotta realize this is the real fucking world. You yeah, ain't gonna never right, always man. instant results. Y'all see look, look at these people that go viral like this. That's like that's a needle in the haystack right there. It really is. That's a really needle yeah. in the haystack. Like you really because yeah. then it'd be some it'd be some people that's been that just pop, you think they came out of nowhere. But you go back, the motherfucker been doing this shit for like years. years. It yeah. just takes time finally fucking came. Yeah. You know, damn, I, said, I keep saying I'm going to stop all this cussing. Fuck it. <laughs> Every time, <laughs> it's not going to stop, man. It's not yeah, going to stop. Man. We got to slowly I, move I, you I, into I, that. <laughs> I'm learning slowly, <laughs> but surely. But it, it's because I'll be streaming, so I don't be trying to cuss all the time no more. But, hey, man, that, that's real, though. Like, a lot of motherfuckers do pop up overnight. They had that one video that that pops up i feel like the younger generation is easier to pop than mm-hmm. especially this type of this type of um mm-hmm. what do you call it this type of content like being a podcast podcast type of content it it's a lot of podcasts out there yes so that's, you know that's it go ahead, go that's ahead. what it is no that's that's mm-hmm. what it is it's a lot of podcasts out there people are talking they shit all over the world so it's, it's a little bit harder to grow in this genre but if you don't pay attention to the numbers man and you just support the ones that support mm-hmm. you and fuck with you like us all the time and we fuck with those who fuck with us you know what i'm saying if, if y'all doing that shout out to our 93 subscribers out there by the way boom yeah, but, yeah but- if you do that man and keep focusing on yourself and doing what we do and, and building to better our craft man it's, it's gonna keep moving it's gonna keep See, moving we are we are really in a saturated market like it is like mm-hmm. it's a lot of podcasts but this is the thing what separates you from the other right i feel like we got our own formula we got our own little sauce that separate us from you know what i'm saying from them and and, mm-hmm. and, and, and vice versa. whoever else is doing podcasts with what makes them them that like i said you gotta do what you comfortable in like you know what i'm saying don't don't try to be someone else man because they go people gonna see through that bullshit yeah you, and it's you, a lot of copycatters out there man right yeah. people fuck with us because we are fucking authentic like the people that know us personally no, this is how we are. Like outside of this, outside of the screen. Like this is how we really are. Like that's why it's, they can click to us so much. Like yeah, yeah dude, that's how these motherfuckers is. Right. Man, ain't, no, ain't no bullshit coming through here. This shit ain't fake. <laughs> right. This is some real shit you getting, man. Right. Don't be when I say I, man. I, I cuss, I cuss. <laughs> <laughs> He's a goddamn sailor, man. But like, I used to get soap in my goddamn mouth. That's how much. I, I don't know where that shit came from. Honestly, like. Well, I picked oh. up all this cuss. I was that I was that badass kid that cuss your mom out. Like, Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> Slap me, bitch! And watch and watch and watch. Hey man, I missed the uh those those shows like with uh what was his name? <laughs> like with Chance, the real like was some some Chance and then uh what was the old boy with the clock? Damn, why well, can't remember oh, his name? Flavor. Flavor Flav. 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 I, I miss yeah. those type of reality shows. <laughs> this love and hip hop shit got it's some other shit, but the, the flavor flavor, flavor of love. I miss those, man. Oh, yeah, that shit, first. that shit was oh, funny. Shit. That shit was comedy. <laughs> That's why I like watching that shit. But yeah, man, shout out to them. <laughs> but yeah, man, this motherfuckers know, bro. This this is this is us. This is what we do, man. It's been a long time. I don't know why we didn't get this shit started two years ago. Yeah. But, COVID really sat motherfuckers down and really made you think that's, like, you hey, bro, <laughs> you got to do I, something. That's right. why I say it was a good and bad thing, bro, because it really made us bite down. It was like, hey, bro, 
hey, the time is now. Mm -hmm. ain't, ain't like y'all doing shit any goddamn way. No, nope. you motherfuckers didn't sit down for one day doing this COVID shit. Like hell, no, they did. Still ain't like <laughs> it ain't that much shit to do out here. It ain't or worth <laughs> doing to get fucking COVID. And it ain't even, you know what? Let, let's take a step back. It's not even a fact of getting COVID, bro. It's like you want to get sick. Do, do you want to get sick? That's the question. Like, do you want to get sick? Because a lot of people are getting it and not being phased up, phased by it. A lot of people are getting it and getting flu like symptoms. A lot of people are getting it and dying from it. But it's like, mm. do you want to get sick, bro? Come on, man. Who wants to be sat down for 14 days, 10 to 14 days in the house, covered up, nigga, sweating your life out? Like, nobody wants that. So it's like, man, come on, man. But COVID did sit everybody down and made you think it really did. What you gonna do with your life? What do, what, what do you got? If they shut down your place, your job them day, what you gonna do? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Another thing that we covered, which was crazy that we talked about this again, because we had, we had talked about this. I think you had brought it up because about the uh, multiple sources of income. Mm -hmm. And it really makes you think of how strong that mindset is. Like, really think about it, about having multiple forms of income. Like, just the fact that, like, when Junior broke it down and said, if one job, you know, that job fucks up, you got this other one to fall back on. It's like, look deeper into that, man. You can be multi, you can be having two forms of income, and one of them can be building a, a empire for you, and then the other one can just be making you, helping you maintain for that time while you're building that empire. Like, Bro, it, it's 2020. It's 2020. If you don't have, if you don't have something that's going on and that you don't know how to get a multiple source of income, uh, go back and watch episode 47. Let, let me say that one more time. Go back and watch episode 47 before I say this. There's shit online. There's shit on the internet. There's shit everywhere in this goddamn world that you can make money from. Mm -hmm. You can make money from just about anything nowadays. Do your research. Find out what fits you best and invest time into it. That's it. That's all you got to do. Invest time into something that you feel like wor is worth investing time into that's going to make you money in the long run. Because no matter who the hell you voted for, because the voting is going on right now. If you're watching this, it's Friday. Hopefully they done already had the goddamn uh, decision. <laughs> so somebody's so, in fucking office that's new. So, not new, but somebody's in office. I ain't gonna push no buttons. I don't trust none of you motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. But no matter the case or no matter who's in office, the main thing is how are you building wealth for yourself in 2020? And how's that gonna push over to 2021? What are you doing to further your next... What are you doing to get to that next level? Mm -hmm. What are we doing to get to that next level? For real, man, a lot of people don't even believe in their own fucking self, dog. That's, that's a problem, they, man. That's why they like problem. They be just comfortable when they get comfortable with the job that they got, and man, and that's me. Honest, like everybody ain't meant to be their own boss. No. like like I said, they really do need to go back to forty seven. I mean, episode mm -hmm. forty seven because he broke it down. Like you ain't just gotta be your own boss. You could come up with something. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, some shit like that. Like you ain't just gotta be. You could come up with something that can make you millions of dollars. A right. million then, then Everybody like, got ideas, man. You, you ain't got to be out here organizing and, and, and uh, doing your own company and shit. There's other ways you can do. Uh, with A lot of people don't believe in themselves, man. You know, they just comfortable going to work and for these other motherfuckers and the ball, uh, the manager treating them any type of way and all that shit. Nah, fuck that, man. You... you I don't like I don't like that I'll keep making I'm making all this money for somebody else. I don't like I don't that. either, man. Like that the thought, the thought of that, the thought of that. Like just think about what you just said. Cause like really think about well, I know you do it, but just whoever everybody that's watching this right now, just really take a second and think about what he just said. We making money for another motherfucker. Just so you can go spend that on your phone bill, your light bill, your cable bill, your car note, and that shit's gone. Like, come on, man. And is then, that really what you want? And then and then you back to doing all uh, working for them again and then just to do just a repeat cycle. Repeat. Busting your ass for something that you don't, don't you even like. Break the cycle? I, I do. You know what I'm saying? Don't you, don't you want to break the damn cycle? Like I don't want to keep doing the same shit 
all the fucking time. Like, fuck that. I'm on, that's why, I, if y'all ain't noticed it, my voice is like, yes, I've been stressed the fuck out today. Yeah. Figure out new ways. I'm not gonna tell you what I was figuring what new ways. Trying to figure out. With me and cousin talked about it, and that shit is stressful. It is fucking stressful. But you know what? I'm gonna make a goddamn way because that's just in me. But just because you're stressing that, you're stressing means that you're trying to come up with a new mm-hmm. way. So it's gonna bring stress upon you. Like God damn, and then you sometimes you have you just get stuck. Like what the fuck? Yeah. Like, just because you're stressing, don't don't give up. Don't hey. give a person mean that you're trying. Hey, because right or block. In, you know, go ahead, right now. Stressing is another way. This is your, it says that you're growing, that you're, I mean, the stress does kill the body, but stressor is also something. It just means that it's another way of you wanting to, wanting to, wanting to get the fuck out. Yeah. Wanting yeah. something better for yourself. And it's stressing you out because you can't get that shit. Exactly. And it's that's, bull. That's, that's, it's bull. That's it. Or you don't know how to get it. You don't know it. You, you just yeah. confused. You stuck at it. You frustrated. Yeah. Frustrated as fuck. That's it. That's mm-hmm. what it really is. I'm frustrated as fuck about this shit. Yeah. Bro. And it's crazy, man. It's crazy because I feel like everybody deals with it. Writer's block isn't just for writers. <laughs> <laughs> Writer writer's <laughs> block happens in every sort of genre or form. Like it, it could be anything. Like I used to have times when I was teaching dance or when I was like heavy in the dance scene where I'd be like okay, I got five to six little homies. Everything that I create, they're using. So I have to constantly create new shit. Because if I don't, I'm going to look like they gonna, my little homies going to be out there doing the shit. And they're going to be like, damn, these niggas using the same moves. You know what I'm saying? But I had to create a genre of, of dance style that they can use and put it in their, their own craft. So I had to keep functioning and keep thinking and keep practicing and keep training myself to do that. And that's hard when you got five little homies. Like five little, if y'all don't know with the whole Crump family thing, you have a big homie, then you have your little homies, which are underneath. So you may have a junior, a little, a soldier, a whatever, so forth and so on and so forth, the boy, all that shit. So when you're in that realm, you have to constantly, like I had to constantly create new ways and new moves and new ways that we practice so that they would have something to piggyback off of to create their own style. And all of my new little homies had their own style. If you was a radical, y'all know, if y'all watching this, Lewis, Jesse, y'all watching this, DJ, y'all know they all had their own style. And you got to apply that to everything in life, man. You have to take a step back when you get in that writer's block. Even when I used to rap, like I was a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga was just about anything. Huh? was a rapper. I had writer's block tons of times, but it was just like, what what did I need to push myself? And I ended up changing my rap style a couple times too because of that. You know, you just got to take a step back, turn the page and see what's going to be new in that chapter to help you proceed in what you're doing at level up, which is what we're doing with the podcast. We're in the season at level 50 and we're about to come with some new material and you're still going to get that same feel of what's going on now, but we're going to have new shows coming to the podcast, man, because we're trying to build a fucking empire, man. Look, if you want to be a part of that, let us know. Hit us up. Let us know what you could bring to the table and we get you on, man. Mm-hmm. It's all about everybody eating. But with that being said, your creativity is only limited by yourself. Mm-hmm. You have to create new ways, new forms, new steps, new processes in order to get you to that next level. You can't just stay in the same plot and you can apply this information to every form of life, not just the creative standpoint, not just the car salesman standpoint, not just the journalist standpoint, not just the content creator standpoint. You can apply this to every form of life that you're doing. You have to worry about and think about and write down and re- do your research to help you get to that next level, man. Or you're not going, you're not going to evolve. Research is very important. Like I said, like we say, write that shit down. Down, like, yes. Like, I like me and Cuz talking. I'm when we get done with this, I'm going to go write down with the shit we was talking about. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just so I can have it there. You know. Uh, Cause I could forget these. Like, hey, you made me get. You made me go to the store. I had to go grab me a little notebook. Yeah, see. <laughs> I had to go grab me a little notebook. Cause every time I'd be like, "What we got?" or you'd be like, "What we got for the day?" And I'd be like, "Shoot, cause we was gonna talk about this." You bring that book out, and you'd be like, "Shit, cause I wrote this down early." I had to go give me a book so I can write. So I can write my shit down on the fly, man. Books ain't dead. That's no. Not right. <laughs> <laughs> no, right up. Books ain't dead. Let them know, cause. Ain't dead, man. Death no, man. 
<laughs> yeah, man, it, it's crazy, man. It's, it's been a long Winter, time though. coming. I hope everybody appreciates the content if you're watching, and I hope you're sharing the content. Mm-hmm. Hope you're liking, you know, comment, man. I'm gonna say, shy. okay, hold on. Ahead, Sorry, bro. bro. No, go no I'm gonna say this nine times in ten. If you don't do your research, you're gonna embarrass yourself going into whatever the fuck you're trying to buy, whatever you're trying to do yep. and uh, apply to. You got to do your research. I I learned the hard way, so there you go. Yeah. Now, one thing I'm not going to, I'm not going to knock doers. I'm not going to knock doers. Like, no, you can't knock It's doers. important to do your research, but uh, if you, you know what I'm saying? Some people over plan shit and they never do what the fuck they, they looked up and research and all that. You gotta nah. do it too. You gotta apply it and do it. Like, like my, my brother, he he's very big on just doing the shit. And look, mm-hmm. we're gonna see what the end, we're gonna see what the result is. We're gonna ride this bitch and the wheels fall off. So we we're gonna do it, but you gotta step back just a little bit, just a little bit, especially and 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 plan and, and do your research on what the fuck it is you're doing next. Don't just I I mean if you just jump out there and it worked for you. Then, hey, by all means, do it because do it. sometimes <laughs> by you, you know, just, if it, just jump out there, shit. If you mm-hmm. jump out there and hey, like hey, it's, I'm either gonna fail or succeed. Hey, you jumping know, out so, there is better than not doing shit at all, though. But the yeah. thing is, I, I'd rather jump out there and fail than not do it at all. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Which a uh, perfect example before we even started, like when we started talking about the podcast and getting our date set up to when we was gonna do it, we didn't even have a full plan of what days. We just uh-huh. did the we did our first recording, and then after that we had a meeting about what did we want from this shit and what we were gonna move, which way we were gonna move into the direction of. Um, I started watching because you already been watching podcasts and shit like that. You was watching like the boxing podcast. Uh, I don't know if you was watching. Were you watching Junior back then? Yeah, I've been I've been watching that for years. Ah, see, so yeah, so you already had it. I know I was watching. I was watching Joe Rogan's podcast a lot. Because Joe Rogan pretty much does a nigga, I don't give a shit type podcast too. So I and I wanted to bring that to what we have. Like we have a raw and uncut podcast. We don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I mean, I'm pretty sure YouTube will monetize us here, monetize us sooner or later. But until then, you know, we talk our shit, man. And we don't care. Like every the shit that we talk about, I feel like everybody wants to say, but they don't say it. When we're when it's relationships, whether it's politics, even though we said we we won't bring politics, we don't yeah. brought y'all <laughs> politics. <laughs> we done gave we, y'all we, advice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we credit advice. We done talked about some shit in regards to cars and credit in the black community. We done talked about just about everything. We're we're forty eight episodes in. Okay, we done talked about just about everything you need to function as a human being as an adult, and we're gonna keep bringing y'all that content. It's just like, bro. If you don't know what you're doing in life right now, if you're just going about the days and just realizing that every day looks the same, that's why one of my things is when I text people is, uh, what's new? What's, uh, what's new that didn't happen to you? That's that's my thing. I, like, what's new? You know what I'm saying? What's, what's going on? What's new? And it's like, a lot of people that text me back don't be having nothing new. It's like, oh, same old, same old. You know what I'm saying? No. No. You know what's been my what's new this week? Junior. Mm. That that was my my what's new has been all around Junior the Truth. Everything that he talked to us about on episode 47. Like that shit, that was my new because that's given me a whole new outlook on shit that I've already known and shit that I didn't know. He gave me a whole outlook on what I want in the next six months. Mm. Especially for us. You know what I'm saying? And we all took something from that, from that podcast. But man, take us, sit your ass down, get you a book. Either read it or get you a notebook and write shit down in it, man. You, you'll be surprised how much progress you will make just by writing down what you feel like your life need to be and, and structure your life in the next six months. Just do it. Just do it. Ain't nothing that ain't nothing more important than your life. Mm-hmm. Going to see little bitch around the corner, going to work 12 hours, going to get you a bottle and going to get you some tree. Going to fucking hang out with the homies ain't none of that shit more important than your life mm-hmm. and what's gonna happen to you or what's gonna go on with you for the next six months. Sit down, man. We're in a presidential campaign right now. The presidential election is almost over. We're about to see who, if you're watching this, it's probably over by now. But just think about the process from 2020, the beginning of 2020, to now. Just think about what's happened from then, not even just Corona. Just 
everything that's transpired with you lost family members or lost celebrities where the businesses went over people done shut down whatever the case may be riots all that shit we done had a lot happen in 2021 or 2020 that should really make you sit down and ask yourself what the fuck do i want from my life within the next year two years three years? especially if you got kids man mm-hmm. if you don't got kids that's even look man look Take a step back, look at yourself, look at what you got going on. I'm gonna I'm give I'm gonna give y'all another example. This is what I did the other day. I don't think I fully broke down what I did uh, yesterday. Was that yesterday? Oh, it was Monday, right? Um, got up, woke up that morning. It was a regular, regular fucking day, man. Got up. It was the day of uh, where you can start voting, right? I was already running late. You know what I'm saying? For for work. I had to get my baby boy to daycare. So getting him to daycare, we was late. I had to deal with them. They didn't want to let him come into school for some reason. We was only like five minutes late. Finally had me on hold for 10 minutes, 10 more minutes. So he didn't even up going into the daycare until about fucking what eight, uh, nine, nine oh five or something like that. So I'm I'm already pissed at that. My mom racing. I'm like, man, what the fuck? I gotta go home, make me something for lunch, and then get to work. And I'm just sitting there, man. I'm just, I, I'm, I get to, I finally get to work, you know, and I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck, man? Like, why, why am I stressing so much? So I get up, some other shit happened, but you know, that's besides the point, but I get up, I walk out to my car. I sit in my car for a good 10, 15 minutes. The whole time I'm sitting in my car, I'm thinking like, what am I losing from quitting this job? Besides a steady paycheck. I got other shit going on right now that I know is going to blow up. So what what the fuck is really stopping me from quitting this job? I know my bills will be paid for the next couple months. I ain't got to worry about that. What am I worried about if I quit this job right now? And my whole vision was me walking in there, going to my boss. You hear that word? My boss. And just telling him. I quit with no ifs, ands, or buts, whatever they got to say, I quit. And I done been in my job for six years. Just going in there telling them that I quit and walking the fuck out. What am I losing? And I really sat there and I was just like, bro, I'm not losing anything. I'm, I'm losing the stress. I'm losing fucking having a beard somewhere every day. I'm losing the chance to better myself and what I'm trying to do because I don't have enough time in a day. See, go no, no, go ahead, cuz go ahead. I'm I'm just I'm trying to get it through people's head, man. Like we deal with this shit because we feel like we have to. You feel me? We we deal with this shit because we feel like we have to deal with it. We have to let these motherfuckers put money in our pockets. We have to let these motherfuckers make our schedules. We have to let these motherfuckers give us a check. But we're not looking at how much stress comes with this, how much baggage comes with this job that you've been at for so and so many years or so and so months. When you could be putting that energy into something that you love, or you could be putting that that energy back into to your fucking community. You know what I'm saying? A paycheck is gonna be a paycheck at the end of the day. But these motherfuckers ain't paying us shit, y'all. They don't want to pay you nothing. Everything that they're paying you, they paying the next motherfucker more. Think about that. The next motherfucker ahead of you, they're paying more. And it ain't because they work harder than you. It's not because they work harder than you. It's because we black. Like, think about, th- really think about what's going on in your workplace. Real shit. Think about it. It's never been made for the black man to make a dollar in America. So you think they want us to make more money? You think they want us to be better than these blue collar, white collar ass motherfuckers? They don't. They don't. They don't want us to figure out the system to put it into play to where we make more money our own way. They don't want that. Cause you know why? That's not white America. I start, I, I went somewhere else. I went somewhere else with it. Hey, I went somewhere know, else with it. Funny about that, cuz you, 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 you would say that, and it'd be some bitch ass niggas. Go, Man, what the fuck is he talking about? I am yeah. 
them mock coon ass niggas to come out here and rebuke that shit, rebuke that shit. No one got that well, nigga. You ain't gonna boy look. No, no, no. And that's and that's, that's what's crazy, crazy, man. That's what's crazy. I got wax. I blew that candle. I got wax on my goddamn face. That dude looking like you know what? <laughs> I know this company like the back of my motherfucking hand, and yeah. I'm still he don't want. I don't want to get promoted to uh, president because the, that's it's his motherfucking son. Man, fuck this job. I'm no matter. Mm. You know that right there. Yep. Shit like it be shit like that, man. Yes. Like they, like, Oh boy. Yes. It be shit like that. And I'll be like, bro, you got it. I'll be telling it be some smart brothers. I know I'm like talented motherfuckers, you man. Shit, bro. Why do you keep going through going back to work with these motherfuckers, bro? You you know what I'm saying? You deserve better, but like I said, everybody ain't always got the finances for this shit, which is understandable. Man. Well, I mean, it's mm, understandable. Right. It's understandable. And, and, I got and a story. Let's be on this topic. Like Let's talk about the motherfucking support, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Like a lot of a lot of these supporters be don't be your family. I'm like, this is why. I, this is why, especially black. People, I'm gonna talk about black people. This is what I'm talking about because that's go all ahead. I know. We don't like I said. Like I said, way in episodes before, we don't support it like each other like we're supposed to. But let's talk about black people in your fucking family. They don't. They, they don't fuck with you unless they they want something, bro. They don't fuck with you unless you're gonna do something for them. They don't be out here pushing your shit. They don't be out here, you know what I'm saying? Share like, man, I just seen I just seen shit, bro. I'm not even gonna say who it was, but I seen some shit that really really pissed me off. And I about caught that motherfucker and went off because I ain't got one video share from that individual, and he know who the fuck he is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I see, but I see you out here. Sharing other motherfucking shit. I'm like, yeah, it may, yeah, it may be fucking petty. I don't give a fuck. Fuck y'all. Oh, uh, but that's nah, that's fuck that. Like, nah, fuck that. Damn nigga, like you ain't, you ain't that. What, what's up with that? You know what I'm saying? You, you should be motherfucker. You should be the biggest fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if people know, they know. People that know me know what the fuck I'm talking about. They know, they know. But uh, yeah, they don't, don't like when it comes and me and me and D, we were talking about this before. And I'm gonna say this. Uh, I always tell him to say this. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> say little Billy wanna start a uh, a car wash business, right? Say little mm. Billy wanna start detailing. Okay. Little Billy, mama and daddy gonna make sure that they a whole community support little Billy. The aunt, the uncle. The mm-hmm. Grandma, the grandpa, the co-workers, all of them gonna come together and support little Billy. And little Billy gonna make it. We barely can we can barely get that shit in our fucking community. We tell we do something. You be lucky if a, if a cousin or two support you. Why is that? But Why you know, is that in our fucking community? But you know what they will share? That post is like, ah, oh, niggas ain't shit. Uh, yeah. hey, hey, is, is who shout out to the Sagittarius is out there, man. If you a Sagittarius, put your, your date of birth down below. You get hella shares. I see black people share all the ignorant shit. They share a lot of yeah. ignorance. You don't share the shit. This, this. a lot of ignorant shit. If you like, you say if you get a post that say niggas ain't shit, you see that motherfucker share throughout your whole timeline, throughout your whole fucking timeline. And I don't even think it's like a. I don't even think it's a jealousy thing. I just think it's just like. Listen, why don't we want to see each other fucking succeed? Is what I always. I would never figure that out. Yeah, I, I ain't never. Any, my damn hair fall out trying to figure that shit out. Like, <laughs> oh, let's like let's let's talk about our city, bro. You got you. We we got certain parts in our city that the Mexicans hire within. Mm-hmm. It's their own community. They own shit. They 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 sticking to fucking together the Asians, the uh, uh, the uh, Arabians, all in there sticking together. We um, hold on, hold on, Rhino had a story. Rhino had a story you wanted to share. Share your story, Rhino. Are you telling me you was gonna walk away from your job? I actually did. Mm. All right, my last job it was at an organic store in San Francisco. I don't know if I should name the store. Yeah, I'm yeah, still, nah, don't name it. Just, just uh, speak your I ain't gonna name it. I'm still, I'm still, still like a little, a little right. pissed about. 
how sketchy these motherfuckers were and how it just just I'll, I'll get to the story. So I injured myself. I had strained my calf because I was like working. I was working hard. I was actually trying to stock this shit because I was a stocker at the at the uh, grocery store. I mm-hmm. injured my calf because I wasn't I wasn't using the lighter because I'm already tall. I can all right, yeah, whatever. I can put stuff on the bin and stuff, but um, they thought I was faking it, so I had, they sent me to a doctor. They thought I was because I was like moving a little bit slow because I injured my calf. I told them I injured, I injured myself, and right. they didn't believe me. So they sent me to, to a doctor. One, they gave me some misleading information. So I go to the, I'm walking to the wrong side uh, of the city, and. Then they said, oh, they then they text me, oh, my bad, it's, it's on Gary Street. So I had to go, I'm already mad mad about that. So I, yeah, I had to go take an Uber to Gary Street, to Gary Boulevard, mm-hmm. only to find out that it's not there either. It was uh, the whole, the whole uh, doctor, uh, their doctor was in Van Ness, which is really closer to the store. I'm like, all right, what the fuck, man? So after that, I get to the store. I get there, and the doctor checks me out, and then he confirms it's a it's a strained calf. I have a strained calf, and as I'm telling my boss, he was like, "What? All surprised and shit." I like I told you, right? I'm injured. So they they took me off on medical leave for like maybe a week, and as I'm doing it. As I'm doing it, I'm, uh, I had Uber Eats and I was doing that and I was starting to realize that, yo, I'm making more money doing this shit than going catching BART every day and wasting money on community, uh, on trans, trans, transportation mm-hmm. just to get to the job and pay my bills and stuff. And I'm, I'm making more money doing this. So I do that. Uh, I, I started, when I finally got back, I started, I started Actually, this is before before I got injured. I actually was awarded Employee of the Month. They gave me a Employee of the Month award, and then yeah, I got injured after that. So I come back, and I'm I'm still working, and I'm still working on this injured. It's my cab is still injured. I'm trying to get used to working again, and they're trying to get on me about stuff. They called me up to to the office one time, and before before this, before I went to work, I was already on BART. I was just not feeling it, not feeling anything, not feeling like going there. Mm. Like I had the whole my whole jacket, like like I was a bum just sleeping on the BART train, going going there because I didn't really give a fuck. The BART is that y'all subway system or I'm not subway that's system. Sub- that's y'all y'all bus, right? Bus that's train. our subway system. Oh, that's, uh, I got a train. subway system. Yeah, there's some shit that okay. like take y'all to like different cities faster. Or some shit like that's that. The, um, yeah, there's a subway. We got the metro. We ain't got a the, subway. That's system. A, we have an Amtrak. Uh, yeah, you guys have an Amtrak. We got a metro. Nah, metro. <laughs> <laughs> we got the metro, oh, okay. which is like the our... story. Thank <laughs> art there. At the same day, they called me up to the office and. They were trying to get on me and shit about some saying that I had no work ethic, work work ethic. Like, we at least want you to have leave this place with a with at least a work ethic. And I'm just thinking, you know, like a work ethic. Got this award to me to play in a month, and I have no work <laughs> ethic. So, it's didn't you have to sign off for that shit? Like, right? You know, didn't you have to sign off to say that? I like, I ain't making no sense. So right then and there, I was like, got put in my two weeks notice. And it was all like, oh, yeah, fine, whatever. So that actually made me a little bit more mad. So I walked out and I thought about it and I slammed the door. I didn't give a fuck. And then it was another door because that the first time I slammed the door, that shit felt good. So I said, (laughs) fuck it, I'm going to do it again. And I slammed another door. And then I'm just hearing in the background what a lady talking about. Like, you know, it, like, I hear people like, you know what you just said to him? And she was like, no, nah, fuck that. That's unacceptable. And they walk out trying to talk to me. And I said, and I just grabbed my shit and my backpack and stuff. And I said, I'm out. I'm did, leaving. Did you even do your two weeks? I, I said, fuck that shit. Oh, yeah. I, fuck I, I quit man. right then and went in there. I just grabbed my shit and walked out. 
And then I realized that my phone was, I left my phone charging. I was like this close. <laughs> I was like this close to like not going back and say, fuck it. I'm not fuck that phone. I was right. so mad. So I came back and then they said, no, you can't come back here with, you got to get escorted by security to come in here. I said, I'm just here to get my phone and I'm out. You can't so give me employee my- of the month and then say I don't have no work ethic. That's kind of backwards, yeah. man. That's backwards. Yeah, that's okay. it was just bullshit, man. How you feel? How y'all feel? And how you feel? Cause I feel like this shit every fucking day, man. Yeah, I do, bro. I do. I feel you, man. I, really do. I feel like there's motherfuckers watching this right now that feel the same way we feel, and we ain't the only ones, man. Right, I just be like man, every day. Why do I get up every day for mm-hmm. these motherfuckers? Unappreciative motherfuckers. When unappreciative I motherfuckers. Motherfucker. Oh, man. Ungrateful motherfuckers. It's up, boy. You make it. Some of these people be 10 plus years in and they can just replace them like that. And don't give a fuck. Like you done put how many years in and don't care, man. Don't they give a That's safe for you. Like how do you leave? Shit, replace it for somebody cheaper. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, dog. Think about your future, man. Don't don't let this shit be the end. I'll be all where y'all at, man. Do That's crazy. To this stereotype as an angry black man, because they will fucking try to make you do that shit. They will make you. And you know what? They will piss you off like that. This ain't no angry black man shit. All right. This is bullshit that we've been getting handed down for years and in fucking generations that our parents went through, that our grandparents went through, getting paid the under dollar just because we do a job better and don't ask no questions mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying you understand me so it's like it, it's you crazy man because it's yeah you gotta look at your worth man i know i know you have bills i know you got that's why every you have something unique that you do all you motherfuckers that i used to play basketball i used to be good at basketball football no you got a talent this this even better than that that you can do right now you have an idea. If you have an idea, you have a you can make a plan. If you can make a plan, you can make a living. Mm-hmm. Like really think about it, man. Like it's it's a lot of shit out here now, man. It it is 2020. It's about to be 2021. You can make money from doing anything. And I know you're going to be good at at least one of those things that you plan on putting your time and effort into. Mm-hmm. I'm a Jones, my nigga. I I'm going to make money or do something as good as the next motherfucker regardless because of how I'm built. And I've always thought like that. Anything I put my mind to, I'm going to make it great because of who I am. Everybody got to have that mindset, man. You got to have that mindset to to push. You got to have that mindset to have a drive. You can't sit on your ass and expect results. That's not how life works. Right. Sit on your ass waiting for a fucking hand up. Yeah, mm-hmm. it don't work like that, man. You got to go out there and get that shit. I don't care how old you are. You got to get out there and get that shit. Your old head telling your old head that I used to do this. Your old head can still be out there getting it in some way, shape, or fashion. Something out there for everybody, man. Everybody. We don't want people, y'all to... Go ahead, cuz. Black people, stop being selfish with the fucking knowledge, man. You know what I'm saying? Just because you want to be the only mm-hmm. one that knew something or only one that knows something, man. Spread that fucking knowledge, man. Let's... Let's prosper, man. Let's let's help each other out. Let's build our own economic system, like 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 the big homie Junior said, man. Our own economic structure. Our own. That's the only way we're gonna get out of all this bullshit that they got us in. Right. Let's pay for our own fucking politics. You know what I'm saying? Pay, pay for our own candidates and all that. You know, we can do that. We can we come together and have our own structure. Politics is dirty. Politicians you know, are dirty, they regardless. Are, though, they regardless, they call me dirty. You have to be dirty. But if we pay our mm-hmm. own to do what we want them to do, you know yeah. what I'm saying? To benefit I'm, us, this shit, fuck it. It's a dirty. I'm game. just saying, I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm just saying, politicians are, are always going to be dirty. That's I'm gonna say this. To I'm gonna say this, and and I want y'all to really digest this real quick. Information is a controlled substance. Think about it. Information is a controlled substance. They only give us the information that they want us to have. But you have access to all the other information, the free information, the real information that's out there. We'll sit up here and listen to motherfuckers say something about some food like it's rain, it's farm-raised chicken, free-range chicken, 
It's it's all natural. It's organic. When in reality, the information of what that really means is out there. A motherfucker could say they have free range chicken and only have a gate around 12 feet. Mm-hmm. Information is free, my nigga. It's free. You can get online. You can go to Google and Google anything you want. You can go to YouTube, put in anything you want and get information about what you want to do. Instead of listening to these fucking commercials or these punk ass politics, them telling us what they can do for us, what they're not going to do for us, what they're promising us, the shit they've been promising our ancestors for years. Instead of going through all that bullshit, you can go get your own information, make your own opinion and make your own judgment about everything and change the narrative. Think about it. Information is a fucking controlled substance. They're giving us what they want us to feel what they want us to think because this is the way that they train your mind to think. That's how they train you. We feel like organic is organic. They can tell us the shit is organic and we buy the shit for an upped price because we think it's organic. But you're getting the same shit you're getting from McDonald's, my nigga. Come on, man. Be the same lettuce that you get that, you know what I'm saying, that you're paying cheaper for, but you just paying higher. Man, that's just like, that's like some brand shit to me, honestly. It is. It's branded because all these businesses, every business looks at you as the consumer. It doesn't look at you as a person, a human being. It looks at you as a consumer. How can I manipulate the consumer to pay more money? And, and you know what? A lot of that shit be with the same company. Yes. They just change your name. Yes. Mm-hmm. Or it's a higher company that's giving that company their product. It's giving you the same shit as they're giving the company that's telling you it's organic. Mm-hmm. Do your research, man. Yeah. Do your research. You know, we sound with all this conspiracy gigs. We got <laughs> <laughs> At this point, cuz it's like, what else do we have? We got two demons that's running for president. <laughs> Nigga, they done blatantly told us, blatantly yeah. showed us that they don't give a fuck about black people. Like, what uh, else do y'all need, bro? Uh, it's right here. <laughs> A lot of black people ain't gonna like I said that, but they want to just choose the lesser of two evils. Yeah, that, that's all they because it's easy. Because it's Why easy. Because he don't easy, show, man. Yeah, it's easy. No, it's but like easy I said, one call you a nigga to your face, the other one say behind your back. Mm-hmm. What's the difference? That boy call you a nigga, but then get What's a boy right? <laughs> At least one of us is telling it to our face and being real. Right. <laughs> shit, the other one just like you. hiding that shit. You show me how you really is, so I know how to I know how to deal with you with that motherfucker hey. sneaky motherfucker behind the door. I don't know what that nigga. I don't know what that nigga doing. But he. Ain't I'm sorry. He, he, he still he's, he's stupid for saying that. He's still <laughs> he's still stupid for saying saying that if you don't buffer him, you ain't black. That's black. Just come on, y'all. Shit like, that come on, open y'all fucking oh, ears, no, man. Shit. Don't care, bro, because it's better than that motherfucker. That said. <laughs> they they don't care. They don't care because they. <laughs> Better than Trump. One's telling you you're not black you if you don't vote for me. The other one's telling you to swallow bleach. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I just like to see. I like to see the Trump like supporters twerk. I, I, I told black people, <laughs> let, them, let them, let them, white folks handle they. <laughs> let them have that shit, yo. Let them have it, man. What would they do? Look, nigga. Oh, ancestors, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what what they, they fight for to be lied to for the next hundred generations? Come on, bro. Be real with yourself, man. But then you know it's crazy. I'm like, all right, you're right. They did do that. I'm gonna go vote for. I'm gonna vote for uh some random motherfucker. Why would yeah. you do that, boy? You can go vote for the Democrat. Yeah. Go ask your parents. Go ask your parents who who, who they voted for 12 years ago, 13 out. years. No, matter of fact, look at your age and go back 12, 20 years, not 12, probably. 10, 15 years from your age and go ask your parents who did they vote for and why and ask them if the shit that they voted for was was took it into process after they voted for it. Ask them how that worked out for them. Yeah, ask them, ask them how it worked out. A lot of them are singing that same tune. Right now. Right fucking now in 2020. Like Come I on, said, man. Like I said, nigga, you better go vote. <laughs> <laughs> You get your ass and vote. You better go vote for Massa or, or Massa number two. You better go vote for one of them. Like, one of them going to be your Massa regardless. <laughs> hey, boss, he ain't voting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> look, man, look, 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 That's sick. look. We change, we make change by changing the economic platform of a black person in America. We change by making change to our pockets. We change by making money more of an with asset to the black other. man within each other, within our, within our race, within our communities, within ourselves, and building each other up, getting back to what we supposed to be, what we need to be, what we have to be in order for anything to change within any black community or any platform within our race. We can't do nothing without building wealth, man. Mm-hmm. I know I'm off some shots, but I'm telling y'all some real. This is nah, free shit. We talk. Y'all getting free shit right now. This is free information. Like I said, information is a controlled substance. Y'all been listening to the motherfuckers that's telling y'all to go out there and buy organic food, drinking coconut water, but y'all not listening to the motherfuckers that's here for y'all that's really giving y'all the real shit. Hey, it'll fill you up with electrolytes. Drink Gatorade. Motherfucker, Gatorade is filled with sugar. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. God damn. <laughs> Eat chicken. It's hormone free. Nigga, what y'all think they injected in these mo- Look, I told y'all I watched that bullshit the other day. The the uh super size me too. They're, these chickens are growing mm. in do six it. weeks. Don't do it. To it. Don't do it. <laughs> hey man, I still I still eat chicken nuggets. So don't do it, motherfucker. <laughs> like, come on, man. I seen it though. I seen it. Look, I'm telling I'm telling everybody go watch that documentary. And and yeah. the only reason why I say that because I learned some shit that I didn't know. But just after you watch that documentary, apply that It'll to be- every other food source or every other company or every other other product that's on the market right now. Tum ta tum tums. It's for your stomach. How much is it fucking you up? Think of come on, man. Come on, man. Think about it. Think my about brother. it, my brother. <laughs> uh, hey, so you gonna go vegan on me, bro? Vegan or vegetarian? I'm on not. Me? I'm not going. I'm not going vegan. I'm not going vegetarian. I'm just. I'm just letting everybody know. Stop trying to think you holier than thou. Mm. When they're feeding us a controlled substance, controlled substance of information. Stop thinking you know everything if you don't do your research. I'm eating chicken. I know what the fuck they doing to it now. <laughs> I'm still eating chicken. You know what I'm saying? But still, no, you go. It's free information out there. And that's what I feel like everybody think they so goddamn busy to pick up a book to, to go. You can Google how the fuck do I get from motherfucking truce to Overland Park, but you can't goddamn Google what's best for me in my life right now. Like, come hey. on, man. They, 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 instead of being on all this social looking up all this bullshit, bullshit. You, you can read from your fucking phone. Motherfucking females yeah. can sit up here and know how to track their man's phone and find out their codes and shit, but you can't figure out what the fuck you need to do to get to the next step in your life. Hey, nah. Because you fucking with a fuck nigga, you can't turn around and look and see what <laughs> I need to, you can't see this nigga been cheating on you for years, but you, but I don't, I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. We look at shit. We look at the shit that we want to look at. And we, we make our own fucking opinions about bullshit when we need to be worrying about what's going to better ourselves. If the motherfucker ain't bettering you, get rid of them. I don't, why is that hard? That's the liability asset thing we were talking about. God damn, y'all want to build a nigga so bad, this nigga been doing the same shit for 25 years. His mama don't even fuck with him. Oh. God damn, bro. Come on, man. Motherfuckers so quick to show they they stickers and shit. I voted. I voted. I voted. I voted. I voted. I voted. Do you even know what the fuck your vote mean? Do you even know where your vote is going? To two demons. We so quick to hype up the motherfuckers that make the shit not for us. We hype they shit up. Come on, bro. A lot of that shit that's going on don't affect a lot of these people that, that voted. That voted. They don't even know why. Mm-hmm. So they don't know don't why. Affect, like a lot of it don't affect, but let them tell it. Whatever. Whatever. I'm snapping so. the day. Fuck what y'all talking about. I'm <laughs> snapping the day, bro. Hey, I'm I off just, tomorrow, nigga. I'm snapping the day. Y'all need to understand. They don't do that. Do. I don't knock anybody that did. I don't knock. Don't anybody. man. I'm just telling y'all that. I don't knock. This anybody. is free fucking knowledge that y'all get. That I knew y'all. That I know everybody, every man, every woman, every black man, every black woman, and thought about. 
Y'all just ain't said the shit or y'all talking to some dumb motherfuckers that ain't got their heads on straight. Like, come on, bro. Think about your life. Think about what you want your life to be within the next five to 10 years, where your kids' lives are going to be in the next five to 10 years. Think about it. Stop being selfish and insecure about shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. You worried about the bitch cheating on you when you need to worry about how the fuck you going to make ends meet or build your own empire. Like, come on, bro. You working for motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you, but you worried about a motherfucker mm-hmm. that still don't give a fuck about you. So what the fuck is going on? What 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 are you doing? What are you doing with yourself? I'm sorry, I don't, I'm five shots in right now. Y'all gonna hear this shit. Yeah, talk your shit. Y'all gonna Just hear get off this your shit, chest, right? Let's get off your get chest, off right? your motherfucking chest, man. Right. Go watch episode forty-seven, man. Get you some ideas about yourself and better your goddamn future instead of sitting there, nigga, trying to figure out when my food stamps coming. Come on, bro. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. They already <laughs> tried to cut the shit. They be trying to cut y'all shit all the goddamn time. Oh, they don't want to give y'all extended em- unemployment money. You know what's in this crazy about that? Woo! They try to cut. They try to cut the food. If, even they, if they try to cut out there, motherfuckers be like, oh, they trying to cut. They trying to cut this. They trying to cut that. Okay, ain't that even more motivation for you to get up off your ass and start doing your shit yourself? Like, oh, well, fuck that. Cut it off. It ain't going to affect me. Don't you want to have that feeling? Like, man, fuck what you motherfuckers do. I'm good. I'm good, no. man. Question, question, question. Why the fuck did we have to wait so long for money that we didn't even have an, we didn't have no involvement. The, the, the American person did not have any involvement of the goddamn coronavirus coming over here. So why the fuck we have to wait for some money that what, that's not even enough to pay most of y'all bills. Let's, let's be honest. It's not enough to pay even four or five bills of y'all's, but we had to wait on that shit. When other motherfucking countries is all, was already ahead of what was going on to have their people taken care of. Why the fuck do we have to wait for a little bitty ass check? And most of y'all still like that second stimulus coming. <laughs> that second stimulus is coming soon. Why are you waiting for some shit. money that they don't that they're going to make you pay back? Did y'all even understand what the fuck was going on when they gave it to us? Ain't nothing like free. Nothing. They're going to rape your ass in them taxes. Talk to me nice, man. Talk to me nice, bro. I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of these motherfucking stupid ass motherfucking people that don't want to take advantage of what's out there, what's for you, what's free. But we'll go pay for shit. Then they got no... Y'all motherfuckers go buy some Jordans but can't Google, how can I make my own shoe? In That's the material, <laughs> the material's cheap. You know how much they paying to make... Mm. They know how much they paying to make, but these niggas don't care. They don't care. Boom, because I can have the latest Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we just get come on, man. Let's go Shout ahead. out to the entrepreneurs out there, man. Shout out to the people that are getting that knowledge, that are that are, that are in taking that information that people are giving them that's not steering them in the wrong direction and really using that to, to better themselves, better their life, man. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to the ones that want to better themselves. Shout out to shout out to the ones that can't but are trying, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's it's all to better our people, bro. If we can't better can't, our people. I, I don't say they can't, but whatever is holding them back, hey, you're going to get over that hump. You're going to get over that, man. You're going to get over that. You're going to get over that hump, and you're going to make it do what it do, man. So yeah, keep, you got keep, to. Keep, you have to. Keep pushing. Keep fighting, because it's going to happen. Yeah, that's the problem, man. A lot of you motherfuckers don't know what real hurt is. Y'all don't know how you, you don't know how to wake up and, and, and fucking... Wake up in the morning, look in your child's face and just feel like a failure. Y'all don't know that shit, man. Y'all don't know that. Because half you niggas is dodging y'all kids anyway. <laughs> that's, a, hey, that's another, that's another, that's a whole another, another fucking mm-hmm. topic, bro. Whole oh. oh, episode right there. Shit. Like, come on, man. Let's be real about ourselves. Let's be real with ourselves, man. Motherfuckers been doing the same shit for years and they see no results, but still doing just okay with it. No. No. Do evils. Get, hey, off chest, get off your chest, man. We come, we coming to the end of the episode. I know it's been a rant. And, it's been a rant, man. It's been a rant. We chest. have. Hey, this is our shit. You talk yeah, about our shit. You <laughs> if you if you stuck, if you stuck. Matter of fact, I, I see a lot of people doing this, so I'm gonna take the shit. You feel me? 
if you watch the episode to the end, if you got to this point, just put get it off your chest in the topics. If you made it to this point right now, put, get it off your chest comments. in the topics, in the co- in the comments, <laughs> in, the <topics. laughs> in the comments, in the comments below, put get it off your chest. If you made it this far into the episode, let us know who really fuck with us. Yeah, that's going to show it. That's going to show it. And, and once again, man, this is not to down anybody. This is not to talk trash on anybody, even though we cuss y'all motherfuckers out all the time. The thing is to, to better yourself. It's to make better people. It's to make better yous. Because that's all your kids is. Your kids is another extension of you that you want to make better to come up and build something next to you. I look at myself all the time and ask myself, what can I give to my daughter? What can I give to my sons? You feel me? You have to think about that, man. You have to think about what can I, even if you don't have kids, what can I give to the next man? Or the next woman that's going to allow them to build something for themselves. Do your research. We love y'all, man. That's why we bring y'all these episodes. We love doing this shit. We love bringing information to y'all. We love having the guests on giving us their input, their opinions. And we love just just doing what we do, man. This is what we do. We talk our shit. You're going to hear it. But anything, what what y'all want to say before we get up out of here, y'all? Man, man, look. Appreciate everybody that's been rocking with us, man. You know, yeah, you we're gonna have episodes like this, man, where we talking and shit just all that shit hitting. We just gonna gotta get it off our motherfucking chest. That's what it's called. That's what it's called, man. Well, we appreciate y'all. We love the support that y'all give us, man. For real, we really do. And y'all been on this journey with us, man, and continue to stay on this journey with us, man, because we it's just gonna get better. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, man, we're trying to hit that hundred, man. Let's, 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 hit, let's hit that hundred. Get it. Let's go. Rhino, what you feel, man? Tell us, tell us what you feel. Break it down for him. First off, I love to see you damn Trump support. These Trump supporters squirm like little worms. I I love that shit. Even though I don't really give a fuck about Biden, I don't really care for Biden, but. You Trump, you damn Trump supporters are talking shit all fucking for four fucking years. And if he loses his shit, I'm going to be happy. I understand. I understand about the platinum plan. We did we did touch on that a little bit. Mm-hmm. If he does, it does work out. Yeah, we get the money, but what the fuck is it if we ain't getting no respect? <clears throat> I want to say, I want to just touch on like maybe two years ago when the Warriors, the Dubs lost the championships to the Raptors. A little incident happened, I think, at Oracle Arena. Oracle, Oracle Arena Oracle with Arena. the, uh, you know, the uh, Raptors president. Uh, yeah, I had his name right earlier. Masu. Black dude. Yeah. Black dude. Yeah, Mas. Ma- Damn it. I can't, so say, I can't say his name either, but I know I'm so about. pissed that I can't say his name right now. But he, um, he got the title of president. You got me, the president of the Raptors, and he was walking on the floor, had his badge on and everything, was about to flash it, but this fucking cracker-ass cop pushed his ass and said, hey, you can't come down here. And, like, he was trying to identify himself, like, I'm the president of the the Raptors, and they wouldn't let him on the court. And then they had the fucking nerve to fucking try to sue his ass, sue my sue. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry if I'm butchering his name, but they had the nerve to sue him for that shit, and that's some bullshit. That's the shit I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. You can have all the fucking money in the world, but if you ain't getting no damn respect, that I mean shit. Hey, Rhino. If you ain't not finished, go ahead, finish. My go ahead. Um, if you have a title, and you ain't getting and you a black man with a with a with a huge ass title, with a title of leader, leadership, kinship, and you ain't getting no respect. That's bullshit. Hey, that's all. Hey, Rhino. Fuck they respect. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. And, that, and that falls. Go ahead, okay. Kev. You, you saying that maybe remember that video that came out around when uh, George Floyd was murdered. Murdered, motherfuckers. Yeah. Rest his soul. Um, was the video of that, that um, FBI cop. He was a black man. And he was just at a bar. And then these two cops, you know, they end up, you um, know, you remember that video? And he was just like, man, y'all going to feel so stupid. They put him in handcuffs and everything, bro, and just told him to check it. All he said was, check my wallet. Check my wallet. Y'all going to feel so stupid. Y'all some idiots. Check my wallet. They pulled his wallet out. See, he was with the uh, FBI. The FBI. 
you the look on their face and the energy go find that video if y'all watching this go find that video if y'all haven't seen that video and check that video out man that shit's crazy that just shows you how much power they try to give us and take away just because of the skin of our color the color of our skin <laughs> said it backwards but yeah man but by this time, if, if you don't understand as a black man what's going on in America, if you don't understand as a black man, a black female in America, as a black woman, what's going on with our people, even even if, if you are of, if you're another race, if you if your skin is another color, you don't understand what's going on. Something is wrong with you, man. And they know I'm not one to really get on this shit like that, but it's it's something that's been really bothering me. And with the election and everything going on, you starting to see people's true colors and, and how motherfucker how it the idiocracy, man. The the fucking huh. idiots that are out here. Like you people don't know shit no more. They don't know shit, man. People don't know a damn thing and they feel like they know they talk like they know every goddamn thing, but they don't know it a lick of nothing. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So look, man. We about to get up out of here. We done gave y'all an hour worth of game again. Shout out to Junior the Truth, man, for sponsoring us, for giving us a shot. Shout out to Junior for giving us the knowledge for even coming on the show on episode 47. Make sure y'all go check that out. We're going to keep saying that. Go check that out. And check out 1 through 46. And this one will be dropping on Uh, Friday, man. 1 through 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. Check us out, man. Like, comment, subscribe. We say that. Because it helps us bring y'all better content because whatever y'all feed into us, we can feed into y'all back 10 times strong because YouTube sees the algorithm for some reason. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm yes, saying? So of I'm, course. I'm, I'm tweaking so we can get more eyes, man, so we can, you know what I'm saying, prosper more. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Get y'all better content. Y'all yeah. going to see your fruits of y'all labor. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just supporting us and it's going to show. Yeah, it's going to definitely show, man. We're going to keep bringing y'all that heat, keep bringing y'all that shit. Real mm-hmm. shit. Ain't nobody gonna monetize us. I don't give a fuck how big we get. Ain't nobody about to monetize us, man. We gonna yeah, keep bringing y'all the real. People. Yeah. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell again. If you're new to the channel, coming back to the channel, you stuck with us this long. Put in the comment section, I'm new. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. <laughs> but yeah, once again, make sure y'all hit up the blackgen.com, man, for all your natural grooming needs, whether you're male or female, whether you're a black queen or a black king, make sure y'all hit them up, hit that slash off your chest. It's no shave November. So the discounts are out there for y'all, man. And they got some good shit in store that'll help you out better yourself. If you are an entrepreneur and you want to, you know what I'm saying? help spread the product. So make sure y'all do that. Go check that out. Make sure y'all go check out Junior The Truth on all social medias. Check out Get Off Your Chest Podcast on all social medias. Hit us up individually if you, y'all, y'all would like. Cousins on the Get it Off Your Chest Instagram. DM them there. Rhino got the Sweet Soul Game and Sweet Soul Brother Instagram. You can hit me up on Terry, host of the show on Facebook. Um, I forgot what my, my Snapchat is. Don't worry about all the Snapchat, but yeah, we got the gaming shit. That's gaming Heaven 100. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, Game of Heaven 100. I'm always on there. We always streaming. We always doing a lot of shit. We doing stuff out here, y'all. So hit us up, man. If you want to be a part of the squad, if you want to be a part of the crew, if you want to be a part of the empire, bro, hit us up. If you got something to bring to the table, hit us up. You got it on your mind. Bo Bo get it off your chest.